like a link tree. What is a link tree? It's basically a web page that contains a list of different services, products, all of your other social media channels, basically a list of all of the links that you have of places you wanna send people to, to collect email addresses, to give people more information, and to cross promote your social media channels. Ideally, you should be putting this web page or link page as I call it on your social media bios. So you can see here, I've got one sarahcorn.com forward slash links, and you should be putting a link of some description on all of your social media bios. If you haven't done that, this is your call to action to do it. And I'm gonna show you how to make a link page very much like this one here. I'm just updating everything right now. And I uh, need to do a lot of updates on here and move it over to my Techmatics platform. So what you're gonna do is you can uh, create a link page on any page builder. I'm gonna be using the page builders in Techmatics for this example, but this process is identical regardless of what platform or software you're using to create web pages, okay? So whether you're using WordPress or Square or anything, this process is the same. However, However, if you're in Techmatics, we actually have link page templates already made for you. Go into Websites and Funnels, click on the Funnels section, and in the search bar, just type in link, and you should have link tree templates then come up for you. Open up that folder, and there are two standard generic templates that are already in there. And if I open one up for you here, it will give you an example to show you what it looks like. I'm just going to open this one to give you a preview. This isn't the editing page, but you can see here um, uh, an example of what a link tree might look like. And this template is completely editable. You can change the fonts, the photos, the backgrounds, the colors, the layouts, everything, however you want. So I'm just going to go and find my actual one and I'm going to do some updates and show you how to edit the pages. So I found my actual one, which is using one of those templates. So you're going to click on edit when you open up the link tree template. And I'll now show you all the different ways that you can basically start customizing this. I've got lots of old links, old branding. So I've got a fair bit of updating to do right here. Um, first of all, I'm going to change that um, ugly pink background. So whatever section is highlighted is the thing that you are editing. So I'm going to click in the green section over here on the right hand side is then showing me what we are editing here. So um, you can change the background colors. You can add um, images to the background if you wanted to. Over in the advanced section, you can see there's all different ways of adding in borders. Like if I was to add a border, you know, that does that around it. If you didn't like the border, you just put no border. <laughs> so you can um, make a lot of changes. You can also view what this looks like in mobile as well. Um, so I'm going to just go through some of these sections here and um, just check basically that everything is working. I've got an email me button. I can change the color of that by clicking on this color. And if you've got particular hex codes uh, to use for your own branding, I'm going to click there and pop in my own custom color. Now I have got somewhere um, my brand colors. So I'm going to grab my hex code from my particular brand and I'm going to pop my hex code color in there. Press add color. Boom. That's my actual branding. Um, Let's get rid of that gross background right now. So you can see here that the background we've got is an image because it's clicked, image is clicked on and it says background media, BG means background media. So to get rid of that background, I'm just going to highlight that and press delete. <laughs> and you can see there now that background has disappeared. What am I going to replace it with? Well, I could replace it with a color if you wanted to. So for instance, you click on the background color here and you can choose one of the pre-existing colors or choose one of your own. I think this will look well garish if I do it in a, in a yellow, but I'm just going to give you an example just to show you what it looks like. Um, so here's my brown and yellow. I'm going to go back here, paste in my hex code, press add color. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty bright. So I'm probably not going to go with that, but you, you get the point, right? I'm actually probably just going to make it white actually to keep it very, very simple. Maybe a light gray. No, that looks too boring for me. But I'm going to keep this just plain. Uh, email me. Now I've added in a email me button. And what you want to happen when someone clicks that, you want to make it really easy for people to email you. So over here, when you click on this button, then it's going to open up editing that button over here. Under the button general settings, you can choose what it says. So you can change that. I've, I've put email me. 
Um, and it, under button actions, you're saying, well, what do you want to happen when somebody clicks that button? And I want people to actually email me. So you can choose the drop down here. Like, do you want it to pop to a particular web page? Do you want it to scroll down? Do you want a phone call to start? You know, whatever. I'm choosing send to an email address and that's the email address I want people to contact me on. So when they click that, it will basically open up their whatever email system they're using and open up a new email. So make it really nice and easy. Now here I've added in a form as an example. Um, you can create forms inside the forms area in your Techmatics account and you can embed these forms into your uh, link page. So again, that might be one way people contact you. This might be another. So I could add here, you know, join my email community or get my free training. Over in the plus button here, this is where we can add different elements, right? So I could grab this, drop this um, text line here and type in, you can actually just edit it right on here. Um, get um, free course creation and business training. Okay. Now, um, as you can see, that text is really close to the button above. It looks a bit ugly. So we're going to click in this text area and we can again edit all of this as well. The first thing we've got is what's called the, oh, where's the padding gone? Da, 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 da. Padding on top. Okay, you have to manually do it now, do you? Work. Why is it not updating? Ten. Yeah, okay, cool. So you can see there I've added 10 px and it made a space that big. Um, if I show you, for instance, if I put 50 px there, so yeah, see how big the space is? That number under padding basically uh, represents the size of the space between there. I might see what it looks like at 15, too big, 10. Let's go back with 10. 10 is fine. All right, now if I wanted to make that bold, um, just as you would just highlight the text, press bold, right? Um, I can change all of this stuff over here. Don't know why I've got a big gap there. Don't really like that. Here are a bunch of icons. Now you want to make sure that these all click to your particular social channels. So click on the image over on the right hand side over here, down at the bottom where it says actions. This means what happens when someone presses that. But well, we want to send them to a particular website URL. Which website URL? Well, that is a Facebook button. So I want to send them to my Facebook business page when they click on that and we want it to open in a new tab. Now keep pressing save. You will get this thing up here saying, um, what metadata do you want? What does this mean? This is what people see on Google or on, for instance, social media when this page is shared. So I'm gonna call this Sarah Cordoner link page. Contact and follow Sarah. Oh, Sarah coordinates contact information and link pages. Okay, you can put in keywords if you want, but I'm just going to leave that off. And then you can even add a social image. This is the image that would show here. So you can see you've got a preview of what this search result might look like on Google. You can add an image that's attached to this too. Um, I'm not going to add one right now, but I'm just going to press save. Oops. Oh, I can't move this loom thing around. There it is. Update social media. Um, so do keep pressing save. Now, again, I'm just going to double check that all of my social media buttons are going to the right social media channel yes they are click go over here scroll down to button actions yes they are my youtube channel let's double check that's the right one yes it is my linkedin and my pinterest excellent so we've got all of my social media channels there now again with these buttons exactly the same click on them and scroll down and it will tell you where it is sending people to Check all of them, da, da, da. LinkedIn, TikTok, book a call. Okay, now I've got an old Calendly link on there. Now I don't use Calendly anymore. I use something way better. I use Techmatics for my calendar bookings. So here is my contact me page on my website. 
And in it, I have embedded a bunch of my different types of appointments and calls that people can book with me. So for instance, um, if somebody wanted to book a 30 minute call with me, it has this calendar, shows the dates and times I have available and people can pay me to book an appointment. This is one of the features of Techmatics, but that is now where I want people to go to, to book a call with me. So let's paste that URL link in there, um, press save. Um, follow me on Instagram. Yes, that's the right channel. That's the right channel. That's the right channel. Um, then there's, you know, there's a bunch of free stuff here that I've added, online course pages. I'm going to get rid of some of these. It's a little bit overcomplicated. And now I also actually have my Legends Lab in here and I don't have my blog. So we're going to add my blog in here too. Let's scroll down a little bit. What we're going to do is duplicate this section so we don't have to rebuild it. So you see here when I hover over the orange, it's only that bit that's going to copy. When I hover over the box, we've got that purple section. When I hover over the blue, we've got the whole entire thing. It's the blue section we want to hover over, press duplicate, and it's going to copy that entire section. And I'm going to call this um, read Sarah's blog. Change that there. And it's just going to be Sarah coordinator.com forward slash blog. Now that's not a clickable link. We still have to make some edits on here. And um, we are going to have to change the image that's in there because obviously it's not Pinterest, it's a blog. So we'll do that um, as well. But first of all, I want to change the link. Now I'm going to go up to my blog just to make sure it is the full URL. Up to my blog, grab that full URL over there and paste it in the website section right there. Let's press save, always save, always save. This is a web-based builder, and like all web-based builders, WordPress, Beaver Builder, Theme Builder, Square, all of them, right, they're web-based. If your internet drops out, whatever you've done, if you haven't pressed save, you're gonna lose it, right? This isn't a Techmatics thing, it's an every web-based platform thing. So just make a habit of being neurotic about that save button. Do something safe, do something safe. All right, future you will thank you. Okay, uh, featured image. This is where I'm gonna change that picture. We don't want uh, that. So let's go to, where is that image? Da, 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 da. There it is, there's our image options. Let's click on the images. Now you can upload images if you've got something you wanna upload yourself that you've made in Canva. Alternatively, you can use Pixabay or Unsplash that we've got here. So if I click on Ixabay, Pixabay, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna type in blog and see what comes up. I just want a blog icon, let's do blog icon. See what happens, uh, that might work, pen icon. Let's do a pen icon. I only want something simple. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Let's click on that. Okay. And there it is. Read Sarah's blog. That looks fine to me, right? That'll do. It'll do. Um, done. Okay. We've got to go into the right URL. Let's press save again because we've done something new. I need to add my Legends Lab. So let's do that. Um, where shall I put my Legends Lab? I reckon my Legends Lab should go right at the top somewhere. Yeah, let's put it above my Facebook box. I'm gonna hover over until I get the blue. I don't want the orange, I don't want the pink, I want the blue because that's the entire section. Let's press duplicate, ta-da. Um, now let's do this. Join the Legends Lab. And I'm gonna just change what it says there, sarahcoordinate.com forward slash legends. Actually, I'm gonna make that capital legends. We want to change that image, so click on it, go over to the right-hand side. Um, I'm gonna upload my own image this time. Have I got a Legends Lab photo in here? No, I don't. So let's upload a file. I've got my Legends Lab image there, so that's gonna just upload for a second down the bottom, and voila, double-click it, and now that image will come over. Ta-da! Now I've got to make the text right over here. So I'm just gonna grab my full URL, paste it in there, but it's not blog, it is legends. Okay, and save. So now I've got all of that looking good. Um, shall I update my photo? Yeah, I'll do that in just a second. Um, I'm gonna actually add some more in here, email. 
I'm going to update this. I'll pause this so you have to watch. I'm just doing my final checks now, and I do want to change the image on that Booker Cool because I don't like that ugly link thing. Let's go to Unsplash and type in phone uh, icon. That's what we want, an icon type symbol. Um, no. Okay, do one of those. Um, Web icon. Okay, let's try Pixabay. Phone icon. Oh, that's better. Looks like Pixabay is better for these more icony type things. Da, 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 da. I'll pick that one. That will do. Double click it and it will change. Oh, that's very small, but uh, that'll do. Oh, I wonder if we can change the image size. Yeah, we can. Cool. So just keep pressing width upwards until you're happy. Let's do height. Da, 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 da. Is that the biggest it goes? I think that is the biggest it goes. Let's keep going like this. Let's just do 100 and 100. Why is it so squishy? I don't know. It's like the width isn't big enough. Well, I don't know what's going on there. Let's find a different one. That one's not great, is it? Pixabay. Phone icon. I can pull. I can pull. Uh, let's do that one. See what that one looks like. <laughs> let's change the, the height, shall we? It seems to just come down a tad. Dee -dee -dee. Ah, that's a bit better, isn't it? Okay. Nice. And just checking goes to the right link, Sarah's page, done, save baby. So once you've got that, you might just want to see if everything's in the right order. Now, if you did want to move the order of anything, so for instance, if I wanted to move the book of cool one with me, hover over the blue, and press up and it will move it up. Hover over it till it's blue and move it up. Hover over it till it's blue and move it up. Now, by the way, you can also drag. Let me show you that. There you go. So you can do that as well. I go here, all right, you can move that zip, like that. I've also got my blog one. I think I might move that because I actually had some people go, I like book. I love reading your blog. Let's move that up, de -de 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 -de. drag and drop. It'd help if I made this whole page a little bit smaller, but then you wouldn't be able to see it. So I've got it nice and big. Okay, let's, I'm gonna put that sort of underneath my YouTube. There we go. Okay, if you are happy with that, you're gonna press save first of all. I might also update this photograph, actually. Let me show you how I do that. I'm gonna take you in to Canva. And um, that's kind of how I do all of these, canva.com. Now from there, let's open up a, create a new design. Um, I'm gonna do, let's just, I think a social media image size would be fine, which is 1080 by 1080, but just type in social media size. Use that as your template. And I am going to, first of all, add in a photograph of Maud Fonce, which is somewhere. Uh, might be this one. There we go. So that's all pictures. Um, I take all of these guys on my phone using the selfie timer. So um, you don't need any fancy photography. Of course it helps. But let me just pick one that I did yesterday. Um, a bit of vanity going on here. I'm just going to pick a fun one because you know that's me. Um, so you're going to click on your photo, press edit photo, click background remover. And that will do exactly what you think it's going to do. Ta da! All right, then we've got our background. Click on the background area, and I've got my branding colors there. Whoa, it yeah, looks pretty bright, but hey. Screw it, let's do it. Okay, so there we have it. There she is, Mad Woman. Press download and download. Alrighty, now I can go back and see what that looks like. Click on the image, go over to image options, um, upload from media library, upload a photo, pick the one you've just done. And let's see what that looks like. 
Yay, that's way more fun. That's so much more me. Okay, save. There we have it. And finally, press publish. It will ask you if you want to update the meta description again. You can just press save or cancel on the meta description. And now that's ready. So now what you can do is attach this particular funnel page to your domain. Couple of ways that you can do that. Um, what I'm gonna do here is just show you where that is. So we're inside our funnels, we're inside your particular link tree. Okay, you've got steps, stats, sales, settings. Okay, and you've also got publishing over here. So in publishing, um, you can choose what your URL is, but over here in the main settings, this is where you're gonna choose what domain is connected to this thing. So I could pick any of these domains that I've connected with Techmatics, you can connect unlimited domains. So it'll be yourwebsite.com or a subdomain, whatever you've connected will show up as your drop down here. Now, if you need help, click on this little box here and you can talk to one of our tech experts at any time, or you can book a free 15 minute call with one of our tech experts who can help you connect your domain as well but basically this under the settings part of your funnel page is where you're going to choose what the domain actually is so that is how save you make yourself a link tree now i'm going to just go and grab my link and show you where i pop that here is the full link but i'm actually going to change that no, I'm going to leave it as it is. All right, so i'm going to just grab that link and then i'm going to go over to my facebook and update my links on all my social media pages so I'm going to do this on my Facebook first, log in, edit bio, that will change that bit up there. If you want to change these things down here, press edit details and then scrolly scroll. There is, oh no, actually my link's the same. So what you do is just press edit and you can edit that link um, and you can obviously add as many more as you want there. So that's where you're going to put all of those bad boys. Um, let's go into Instagram and do the same. Alrighty, so uh, I've got my old link tree. Uh, no, don't pay for link tree anymore. You've got Techmatics. I'm going to press edit profile. And here is where you'll be able to add in your links. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Website. Oh, it's only available on mobile. All right, just going to go and pull up the mobile phone. All right, let me show you my phone. Um, so I'm going to go into my Instagram account here, got to be by mobile, click on your profile and edit profile. You see here, so it's hard to show you, but edit profile and from here you've got links and you see there I've got that link tree. Go away link tree, we don't need you anymore. So I'm just going to delete that. Bye. We got tagmatics now. <laughs> and what's that? You can put a title too. Actually, I'm not going to put a title. I just think it's too much text. There we go. So now I've got Sarah's links. Cool. You can even add other external links in there as well. Like it. All right. So there you go. We've done that. Of course, you're just basically going to go and do that on every single bio that you have. So now when someone goes to your bio and they're checking you out, they're like, oh, who's this hot, amazing, sexy woman, right? And they're going to click on your little link there. And ta-ta. Let's see what it looks like on mobile. There it is. There's the link tree we just made. And they're going to go, oh, look at her. She looks fun. And then you've got all that amazing stuff about you. You can email me. Let me show you what happens when I press email me. And it will say, da da da, da continue. Bing! Opens up the email app. How cool is that? That, my dear friends, is how you do a link tree. Got any questions? Let me know. Happy tacking.